Okay. What does it mean? It is three p.m. Uh, we have Chairman of the Commissioner Donna Procopio, Barbara yeah. Fetson and Leak, yeah. and Margaret Chadwick, Commissioners. First item on here are the minutes from our previous meeting held in June 2000, uh, 20th, 2012, uh, for your approval. That's on the third and fourth page. Mr. Chairman, I've read the minutes. My motion for minutes be accepted. I second. Pass. Um, we have in the section for departments, we have development department. department uh, there's been approval for a position called Parking and Customer Service Specialist, grade eight. Uh, currently that position is called Principal Clerk. It's a grade seven and it's occupied by uh, Rebecca Guerrero. Um, we have, uh, I have attached new job specs for this position. Um, and there's uh, approval requested for the job specs attached. That is on page five. exam opens the city employees holding the title of principal clerk. Currently we have seven employees holding that title. Executive Director Section 8 job specs need to be approved for this position created in the Section 8 Department. This position will be in addition to Section 8 Administrator. Approval is requested for the job specs for now. Pending approval from... Yeah, this is a brand new position? This would be a, an additional position, yes. An additional position, okay. Section, uh, Executive Director of Section 8. Yes. Mr. Rock, you know, she's uh, going to retire. She's going to retire. So that's what they want to um, yeah. have that title for. And we, we, we all kind of think, updated. but we prefer residents. Yes. That's oh, yes. the other yes. item that we need to, um, the development department would like, uh, is asking that uh, we waive nourishal residency. No, we prefer, I think we. I, I feel that at the beginning we should at least keep it that way. Keep it your show I do. I really, because yeah. I feel that our job is to keep jobs in your shop. Okay. Com Commissioner Lick, I, I, I feel the same way. Okay. I, mean, I, I, I think we should uh, at least uh, see what the opportunities are available to those that are here. Okay. Then it's right. Then we don't have enough. Then we can then we look over. We're all the way from I okay. know it's a very specific kind of position. Yes. So, Okay, so then if it happens that, you know, later on, if, if it needs to, then we can bring it up to the commission. Okay, it's okay. okay. for residents okay. now. Commissioner mm -hmm. Freeman, do you want to say something? No, I was just here to answer questions on the position. Right. It is restructured from the existing title, primarily because we want to make it consistent with the federally recognized title. Okay. And there's a series of relationships and skill sets that go with the federal title. And we want the new position to reflect that. That, that's the essence behind it. So, 
So Are these skill sets just uh, arriving now, or were they in effect before? Actually, uh, I know Rourke has them. She's probably one of the best in the business firm. Uh, but it wasn't a requirement of her particular position. It was just that she did it, and she's always done it. Uh, there are rapid changes occurring inside of the Section 8 program, and HUD has got a lot of demands. Simultaneously, a lot of offices are changing how they manage Section 8. Mm -hmm. So there are people out there with this title who would be great candidates for us to go after. And we want to make it consistent in title, skill base, and salary range. So by restructuring it, we think we can attract some of the other Section 8 administrators, really throughout the region, who might find this more appealing. So that's the essence behind it. But the skills, our leads always have them. Just never really recognized it's a the structure of the job. Okay, so the, the first thing is we need to approve the job specs. So um, we just need a, a approval for that. I make a motion that the job specs be approved. I second it. Okay. So that is approved. And then we, uh, we're uh, asked, uh, leaving Nourishell residency as a requirement. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, our next item um, is in the police department. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Commission. Thank you, Commission. We're going to miss you. Thank you, sir. I'll see you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Thank see you for coming. I'll see you in Connecticut. Thank you. I'll see you in Connecticut. Thank you. Okay. Perhaps, yeah. Uh, the next item is in the police department. As you know, we're having the police officer exam in November. Um, once the written test is done, the agility test is done, we need to make up a list. Uh, we've always had it in the Rochelle list first, in the Rochelle residents, and then once we use up that list, we go to the non-resident list. The commissioner um, has asked to see if you would approve having one list including residents and non-residents, which we normally don't do because we're, we're gonna give preference to the Rochelle residents. Well, we can do resident come first. Yes. We can do both. Okay. I again think that our job is to keep, keep it in the yeah. so yeah. 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 yes. okay. okay. our Okay, the next item is not competitive and or provisional appointments. We've had none so far. Um, and then after that, the next item is probationary appointments from lists. Um, we have uh, Kevin McKenna is a code enforcement officer. Sorry, yes. a code enforcement officer. I think I, I made a mistake there. He's property code. Code code. Property. It's property code. Um, in the building department, he was appointed on July 30th, 2012, and he was taken off of a, a list we have right now. I didn't write the list number on there, but he was taken off the list. He is there contingent, uh, depending on, um, that was a, a spot held by uh, Jason Lord. He has moved on to a different um, position in a different department. So pending Jason's passing his exam, uh, then he will become probationary. So he's still, you know, on their contingent. Okay. okay. We also have Sadrine Singe. I believe is the pronunciation of her name. She is a tenant relations aide in the Minnesota Housing Authority. She was appointed June 25th, 2012. Um, she has already passed her test. She also came off of the list. Okay. Um, Next item, we have eligible lists to be established. We have three lists that I got results for from exams given. Uh, one was the purchasing agent for the Board of Ed. It's an open competitive list, number 2326. And I'd like to establish that for a period of one year until 925-13. Uh, we also... So uh, the other list is the Fleet Manager City Promotion List, number 2327, uh, for a period of one year uh, until 925-13. There's only one person on that list, um, 
you know, we normally don't establish lists, but we, you know, want to follow the same procedures for everything. Deputy Fire Chief Promotion List number 2323. I'd like to establish that for a period of one year until 925 13. Yes, those are the lists. So those are okay? Yes, okay. We have some lists to be extended. Um, that's the next item. Police officer current list we have um, expires on 10-23, uh, actually 10-24-12. Um, since we're having the list, hopefully we'll have a list within six months. So I'd like to see if you would like to extend it for six months until 4-24-13, or for a full year. This also goes for the Spanish speaking list. My recommendation is to do it for six months since hopefully we'll have a new list by then. If we don't have a new list, then we will add, put it on the agenda and extend it at that time. We do for six months. Yeah, I agree. I think six okay, months, that's, that's fair. fair. That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay. We also have a few more lists that I'd like to extend for a year. I'll leave all the lists out for you and then you can just let me know if you're okay with um, extending them for an additional year. First list is principal clerk, open competitive list number 2308. Next one is a principal clerk promotion for the Board of Education number 2309. Principal clerk promotion list for the city number 2310. We also have the staff assistant open competitive list number 2311. And staff assistant promotion for the Board of Education number 2312. I'd like to approve this for you. Uh, 9.26.13 is the date. Okay, Yes. Okay, I have attached the schedule for the, um, for the exams that I'll be having coming up. And uh, also a list of 2012 exams that I've had and of two more coming up, the police officer and the senior account clerk. Just for your information. Um, yeah. Wow. Next item is just setting up a date for the um, October meeting. Possible, possible two dates. Um, maybe the third week of it's October. It's Thanksgiving. No, I mean, no, Thanksgiving. No, 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 no. You're in. Please <laughs> don't push it. You're pushing before. <laughs> Halloween. So we Halloween. just Halloween. have to get the Halloween set a date for that. Halloween. Wednesday, right? Yeah, that works okay. best for me. Okay. okay, so we'll try to go for that date. Which mm -hmm. okay. Next item is just to adjourn the meeting. I move to adjourn the meeting. Could I? Could, am I allowed to ask a question before you adjourn? There's no public comment period. No, no, no questions. No. 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 Too late, Mr. Commission. Too late. What yeah. time is it, Reverend Lee? Too late. Oh, all right. Adjourned. Well, that's what somebody told me. I was too late. Three. What can I say? Well, you can. You guys had three. Fourteen. Three fourteen. This is the zoning. Hey, Bob. Mr. Scott, you want to say something? Uh, just a couple okay. questions. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'll be brief. Um, one is um, I came because uh, under the changes to the open meeting law that took place in February of this year. Um, which was uh, uh, created by Amy Paulin. Um, all documents that are discussed at a public meeting are to be put onto the city website prior to the meeting, and that hasn't been the practice with this particular body. And I was hoping that you, know, you could take a look at the changes to the law so that things like the agenda. We actually just got something from the state last week on that. So I don't know if it's referring to the same thing, but we did get a notification from the state last week in regards to open meeting laws. But I, regarding don't know if it's, I don't know if it's in regards to the same thing. 
Okay. Well, in any case, it's been the, actually the law in the state of New York since February. Okay. And this uh, uh, commission has actually been in violation of that law ever since. The agendas and all the documents that you just referenced are actually supposed to be on the web. Specifically, Amy wrote the law so that the public could come to a meeting and follow along so we know what you're looking at and we're talking about. But if you could just take a look, you'll see that that's the case. The city has done that. The school board has done that. Um, I came here because it wasn't being done here. Soon. And, uh, and along those lines, you're, I don't know if you're going to keep meeting here, but normally this room has video cameras. And, uh, and one of the things I would encourage is that all public meetings be available for broadcast. We have the equipment to do it. Um, I'm certainly going to ask this. Yeah, we normally don't have the meetings here. I understand that, but you have the capacity to do it, and even though the cameras are out, I'm going to request that the meetings be broadcast like the other meetings are. I hope that the uh, commissioners would consider endorsing that idea, because a lot of people can't get here at 3 o'clock in the afternoon to see this well, public we, business. We're going, we're going to consider that. Okay, good. And then um, on FOIL, um, I made a FOIL request, which I think Ms. Medina was aware about, it was for a motor vehicle operator position that was from the school district. And initially I was told that there was no such records. And then after pushing back quite a bit, um, I ultimately did get the records. But it raised a question in my mind, which was um, the state agency uh, in New Rochelle for civil service is this one. And it wasn't clear why the custodian of records for civil service positions in New Rochelle from the school district were being maintained by the school district because they're not actually the state agency. Well, that information you have to get by the FOIL request. Well, whatever information is in regards to the FOIL request, that goes through the uh, system to the city manager. Right. Well, I'm not making a FOIL request now. I'm asking a different question, which is, why is a different department the custodian of your records? That, I believe, was answered within the FOIL request. I don't recall what it was right now, but I believe it was. It wasn't. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't even a, something I asked. Um, I, but it, I'm just trying to understand why it is that those records are being maintained outside of your office because, as far as I know... They're also within the office. I just needed additional information from the Board of Education, but all those records are kept in our office as well. Okay, that's different than what Omar told me. Okay, fine. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mr. I, I, I do you have a question? I well, <laughs> no. I actually I, I came down to to the meeting because I hadn't been to one before, so I thank oh, you for you're welcome. Um, you for you allowing me to, to see how you all operate. Um, I did have uh, a question about which I'm, I'm not familiar with, so this is a learning experience for me on how one goes about applying for. Uh, promotions and raises and so forth within the civil service system. And is that a test situation? We, we, yeah. we already we already did that. Okay. Oh, yeah. We already did where you fit. Okay. Yeah. So so if one wants to do that then they it's, it's either Yes. A test or, you can, or, you're welcome to come to my office and explain the whole process to we you. All about, you know, we always post the, uh, right. the promotion uh, either exams or promotion posting if we don't have a list and then anybody who qualifies within the qualifications can apply. Ah, okay, that's good. Now, so if I had a position that I wanted to uh, consider, and let's say it's approved, because I'm trying, I, I just want to figure out what kind of paperwork do I need to give you oh. in order to get whatever. If you uh, want a new position, you have to get it approved within your budget. Within the budget. Within budget. And then from that, And then, then from that, we can go to a list to uh, see what best fits your position. Give them the budget, then you come to the civil service. Oh, okay. See, so that now, for a new employee, that's a good thing to know because yes. now I know how. Yeah, you know how it works. You're, I know you're exactly. smart guy. Yeah. So, so I figured our best thing to do is come and get it straight from your guy. Yeah. 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 You're welcome anytime. <laughs> Thank you. I was on my way to another meeting, by the way. You're welcome, Benjamin. Okay. okay. You're 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 so sorry I'm late. Well, all right. Yes. You're looking for a promotion? Is that what it is? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> You're at the top of the food chain now. Where are you going to go? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <Mr. laughs> Thank you for coming, Mr. Benjamin. Come Monday. 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 Come Mon